How's it going guys? Before we get into this week's video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like it if you did, hit the bell so you get notified when we put up new videos on our YouTube channel, and as always, feel free to head on over to our website at pnwild.com, check out our merchandise and some of our blog posts. Now, roll the intro. Before we get into this week's video, please hit that subscription button, hit the bell so you get notified when we put up a new video, and as always, find us on all of your social media. We are at PNWild on everything. This week, we are looking at the Razer HD LHT. It is, um, at this point in time, unreleased, so we will make sure to get this review to you as quickly as possible after it is announced, but we had an opportunity, thanks to our friends over at Vortex, to use this scope, uh, a pre-production model, uh, before it was released and kind of give them our two cents on how it worked. I personally killed a deer with it in Colorado this year, uh, and it worked fantastic for me. Really the selling point here is if you remember the Light Hunter, the Razor Light Hunter that came out, I believe two years ago now, uh, that was a very lightweight with a elite quality glass system, so it's that Razor line. Uh, but shedding all the weight of its Razer larger brothers. This is this very similar in optical quality and function, but it gives you an adjustable elevation knob. So we now have the ability to dial dope, if you have that on your rifle, uh, to be able to make those longer shots, say that five, 600 yard range. Uh, on this gun, I have it sitting in some Vortex uh, Pro scope rings. It is sitting on a Kimber Mountain Ascent that is chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, this is a 30 millimeter tube, 42 millimeter objective lens. Um, it has worked fantastic for me. I know that right now the craze in hunting firearms is to have that lightweight gun that can still do work at distance. And this definitely fits that bill. Uh, it comes in at right around a pound uh, whole weight and it definitely sits very well on top of your Mountain Ascents, uh, the new Weatherby t uh, TI, I think they're calling it, or uh, it's a titanium action, uh, carbon barrel, carbon fiber barreled gun. All of those lightweight rifles, this is gonna match them really well, especially because people still wanna have the ability to shoot at five, 600 yards, even with a gun that only weighs six pounds. So this really saves you on the, I found myself carrying this gun a lot this year because the weight was so low, uh, and yet I'm still super confident that it's shooting lights out. So I definitely cannot recommend this optic enough. Right now, we do not know what the MSRP is gonna be on this, uh, but I would assume it would be n just north of $1,000, uh, and that uh, is definitely a, a great, at, in that price range, is definitely a great option. Uh, it does have capped windage, uh, which is a good feature to, in my mind, it has side focusing parallax. And then it is a, uh, it is an illuminated reticle. I personally do not run it with the battery in it because I prefer not to use an illuminated reticle, uh, but it does give you that option and the battery is included in the box when you receive the scope. Um, so if, you, if you're in need of a lightweight option that can still do, do work and push the limits of your uh, you know, accuracy numbers. This is a great option. I don't think that there's anything else on the market in this weight class that still gives you the ability to have a locking elevation turret. Um, so feel free to check it out, obviously vortex.com. Uh, if you have any further questions, feel free to get in touch with us. We're happy to answer any questions we can. Thank you for watching this week's video. Feel free to smash that subscribe button and come on back next week for that next video.